We've made a fair bit of homemade bread before, but never bagels, so you guys have asked for it. Here they are. My first question, what flavoured bagel are we making? We're going three ways. We're going to do a chive bagel, a seeded bagel, Make and a longer. sweet bagel, but more importantly, all start the same way with a yeasted dough. Okay. okay, so first up, warm water and dry active yeast. If you just kind of whisk that together with a fork, we just want to dissolve the yeast. Warm water, body temperature, not too hot or you'll kill the yeast. And then everything else goes into our mixer and we're going to knead it with a dough hook for five minutes or so until you get a soft elastic dough. You can of course do this by hand, in a bowl, but a dough hook makes it so much easier. So all going in. And the yeast. And the yeast. This is strong flour. We're also going to add in a little bit of salt and quite critically here, which is kind of unique to bagels, or certainly this recipe, is a little bit of honey. And then clamp the whole thing down and knead it until you've got that soft elastic dough. My second question, what makes a bagel a bagel? Is it the shape? or the dough, or where it's served? I think or... it's the, the method. Okay. The dough is proven, is then shaped, proven again, boiled, and then baked. Or commercially sometimes steamed, but it's that process of boiling it that gives you that really chewy, authentic texture to a bagel. I think that was a good answer. Eventually. <laughs> now, obviously you'd leave that for a good five minutes to finish kneading until you've got something really elastic, and then, Pull it off of your dough hook, then put a tea towel over the top and you need to leave it to prove for an hour or an hour and a half at room temperature until it is really puffed up and looks something, quick change, like this, hopefully, is a really soft Ooh. proven dough. Can I thwack it? You can thwack it as much as you like. What we need to do actually is knock the air out of that, so that is the next stage. Oh, it's kind brilliant. Of just get rid of all that air. What we're left with is this awesome bagel dough that's really stretchy and will enable us to make awesome bagels. So next up for the flavouring, because okay. at this point we've got our basic dough, now yep. we need to split it three ways. So, a little dusting of flour just so we can handle it. Mm -hmm. and what I'm going to do is split it into three, and then you're going to knead in the different flavours. So, there's one third. Thank you. Two more thirds. So the first one we'll mix in the bowl, because it's a bit messy, and that's three different seeds. Mm -hmm. so we've got caraway seeds, poppy seeds, and sesame seeds. They all go in and then just knead it into that dough, which gives you a nuttiness, a crunch as it Lovely. bakes. There'll be some on top, which as they toast and bake, go nice and golden as well. You get some quite exotic flavours, don't you, with bagels? Like some really fruity ones, really nutty ones, really seedy ones. Well, we're going to do a nice sweet one as well. Okay. So over there we've got cinnamon and yep. sugar. You take that and just kind of work that into your one on the board. And the final one, Possibly my favourite, just because it adds colour, is chives. So just some very, very finely chopped chives will go into the other third of our mixture. They're not necessarily going to be completely evenly combined, but you kind of get the idea, and mm -hmm. these are quite rustic ones anyway. So next up, we'll show you how to make the bagel shake. So we're just going to roll out our mixture until you've got the thickness about a centimetre thick, and it will try and spring back. That's the elasticity of the bread. That's quite a good thing. So the thing with bagels... Yep. A bagel should be hand-shaped. Should be kind of that kind of sort of hand with a hole in the middle. With a hole in the middle. Yep. So first up, you've got the big circle, mm -hmm. which you could cut by hand. You don't have to use a cutter. And then the smaller circle forms the hole. The thing with this dough is it all can be rolled back into itself, and that's the bagel shape. And what we want is three or four of each flavour, and we'll just line them on baking paper so there's no chance of sticking. So more of the cinnamon, more of the chive, and the seeds get them all rolled out, and then leave these proof for an hour. Now, get ready, because you're about to hear a string of excuses of why these will not look the same as the ones you buy off the shelf. Pretty much. Hit it. Very carefully peel this back. And you'll see what's happened is our bagels have now had their second proof. You can see they've puffed up. All we need to do now is boil them. So we've got rapidly boiling salted water. And all I'm going to do is lower them into here and cook them for about a minute on either side. Okay. Then we'll scoop them out, put them back on the tray, egg wash and oven. Lovely. The problem is, every time you touch them, because they're so light they're and They're going to move a little bit. They kind of lose their shape. Because commercially, they would be steamed on the same tray that they are proved on. So right. in an oven rather than boiled, and that keeps their perfectly regular shape. We're giving it character at this point, aren't we, Ben? Well, you could say that. Oh, got a hell of a personality, that one. So just lower it in really gently. Once you've had a minute, you can flip them over equally gently. So why are we boiling it at this point? What's it doing? The effect gives it that chewy consistency. 
I don't know why traditionally they did this rather than just baking it straight away, but you know yeah. that, that chewy consistency you yeah. get on a bagel? Yeah. Well, the perfect bagel should have that pull and that chew to it, and that's what that makes, makes a bagel bagely. At this point, let them air dry a little bit, and then what we can do, or you can certainly prepare for, is grab an egg, just crack it, beat it up in there, because we're going to egg wash it, and that's what gives it its nice shiny glaze. And we've got an oven preheated to 220 degrees Celsius, and these will need between 15 and 20 minutes, depending on their size. Even the ones we've made, they're kind of <laughs> a little bit irregular. 220 degrees, 15 to 20 minutes. Job done. And there we go, homemade bagels. We've got seeded ones, we've got sweet ones, we've got chive ones. We can serve them whatever you like. We've got creme fraiche, smoked salmon, gold seed buttered, you decide. But there they are, homemade bagels, sorted. Plenty of salmon, a little squeeze of lemon juice, and whether you use the chive bagel or the seeded bagel, that is worth waiting for. Mm, we've got the crispy outside. Mm. Did you get the pull? Just think the chewy pull. The chewy, soft, crispy, stretch. It, it has so many things going for it, this. So often I love to toast a bagel as well. Mm -hmm. But when they're this fresh, you get that freshly baked. Don't need it. Now these started in Poland, but now they're all over the world. Tell us what you put in your bagel and upload it to Soy Food.